Hey guys, William Justice here. Let's dive right in. Today I'm going to show you how to create a bullet list in DaVinci Resolve using my new plugin. It's fully customizable and looks something like this. Pretty easy. To create it, you just add your bullet image, graphic, animation, video, whatever you want to the timeline. You take the Just Bullet effect and drag it right on top. Um, it's called Just Bullet List. It is a free download from my website, BillJustice.com. It's quick and easy to use. Um, you can get set up and ready to go in just a few seconds. There's no need to create and manage multiple tracks and multiple text layers and video layers and shift everything around. The bullet list is fully animatable. You can animate the text in and out, fade it, pop it. You can also adjust the timing of the bullets. So sometimes that's important if, say, if you're, uh, you're, you're doing your video and you want a bullet to come in right now, it can come in exactly when you want. This bullet list will save you time. It's, everything is super easy to adjust. The, uh, the spacing, the font size, colors, um, as well as the animations, it can all be done in one place. If there's enough interest in this, um, I'll make another video and show you how to use Mr. Alex Tech's Magic Animate to do the animation for the bullets as well as the text. Okay, in this video, um, I'm gonna start by showing you how to make a simple bullet list, just a real quick hack. Then we're gonna take a look at just bullet list, gonna go through how to use it and what you can do with each of the settings. After that, I'm gonna show you how to download and install it from my website, buildjustice.com. Hope you're enjoying this video. Uh, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel for more videos about making videos with DaVinci Resolve and Fusion. Um, hope you can get something out of this. And also make sure that you comment below and let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. Okay, we're gonna start with a super simple text list. It doesn't have bullets, but if you need something quick and dirty, this might get the job done for you. Go to the effects area, select titles, and choose text plus, drag it into the timeline. In the inspector, all you need to do is put each, each of the text lines or bullets on their own line. You can add as many of these as you need. Use the options in the inspector to adjust. I'm gonna left align it, adjust the size, spacing, and then we're gonna to go to the layout and I'm gonna just move it over. Now that we have a simple list, let's set it up so that different lines appear at different times. Let's go to the beginning of the text and we're just gonna do some cropping. So click settings in the inspector, open up cropping, and we're gonna take the crop bottom and move it all the way up and we're gonna set a keyframe. Now we move forward in our timeline, and whenever you want the second text to appear, you click a keyframe, go one frame forward, and then drop the bottom for the crop, and that's the second one. And you can keep doing this for the rest of them and have the text appear in your video right when you want it. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, Just Bullet list. To get started, all you need to do is take a graphic, it can be an image, video, um, even an animation, I'm gonna show you that in just a second, and drag it into the timeline, and this is just a uh, check mark, and stretch it out to as long as you want the bullet list to be on the screen. Next, click Effects and find the in the Effects folder, there's gonna be a William Justice folder. You'll see Adjust Bullet List. Take it and drag it right onto that bullet image. And that's gonna create the bullet list for you. There's a basic animation where each line fades in. So let's take a look at the different options here. Select the bullet image and click Effects in the Inspector. And this is, you'll see the bullet list. We have some controls, we have a section to adjust timing, um, section to adjust the text animation, the, bill, the bullet appearance, and some general settings. The first uh, right here lets you adjust your font and you can change the color. You can change the text size right here. You can do the tracking and you can adjust the anchor. So if you want it to be a right aligned versus left aligned, you can adjust the anchor. I'll show you how to use that in just a second. To move the list around, you adjust the list position X and Y. Line spacing will put the bullets further apart or closer together. Then the animation delay. Right now it's set for 10 frames, so that means that each that means that each bullet is going to come in 10 frames after the next. So you can, if you want them to come in faster, you could set it at uh, three frames, and each bullet will come in three frames after the previous one. So we'll put that back at 10. To adjust the bullet text, you can just change these lines. So it's that simple, and you kind of have a list there. Make the text a little bit smaller here. Okay, let's get into some of the settings. Let's talk about the bullets first. So let's say we want the text, the bullet to be on the right side. So for this horizontal anchor, we're gonna click the right align. You'll see the bullets are aligned up on the right hand side of the text. Let's click the bullets option right here and the bullet offset. We, all we gotta do is take that bullet offset and move it over a little bit. And we got it right there. We can make the bullets bigger or smaller, adjust the size there. And we can adjust the angle. And all these properties are animatable. So let's, um, Let's start with the animation here. So let's uh, reset the angle and we're gonna reset the opacity so we can see the bullet here. We're gonna go to the very first frame of the animation and we're gonna set the size at zero. 
And then let's go over about uh, six frames. And we're going to set the bullet size to where we want it right about there. That means as the text fade in, fades in, the bullet's going to zoom in. Like that. Now let's say we want the text to slide in. That's where we can click on the text animation. And we're going to reset the opacity here, double click on it. And let's put it at one so we can see what the animation looks like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set a keyframe on the center position. And we're going to go over, let's go over about uh, right when the bullet comes in there. And we're going to set another keyframe. So we want the text end right there. So we'll set that keyframe. And we're going to back, go back to the first keyframe. And we're just going to slide the DaVinci Resolve, the DaVinci text back. And here's the animation that we have now. It does take a little bit to render, so you got to give it a second. And those are coming in. Um, now let's say we want the text to fade in. We'll go to the first frame and we'll set the, set the opacity to zero, click the keyframe, and then we're gonna go back, we're gonna hit this little arrow to go back to where the text is in the final position, and we're gonna set the opacity to one. So we'll have the text fade and slide in at the same time. Okay, the next section is the, the timing options. So, so for timing, we can set the animation delay. This is gonna, each one's gonna come in 10 frames after the next, but what if you want a bullet to come in at a specific time? So you're gonna click timing, and you'll see time now, this is the current frame of the animation. See as we move it, the frame changes. So let's say you wanted um, the second bullet to come in right here at frame 268. This delay two, we're gonna set that to 268. And you'll see the bullet goes away. And when we get to frame 268, the bullet's gonna slide in. So this way, you find a point in your animation exactly where you want the, the bullet to come in. And say we want the sixth bullet to come in right here. This is delay six at 373. So we're gonna set six to 373. And you see it's gone, but it's gonna come in right there. This, this lets you set the timing of exactly when you want each bullet to come in. Okay, let's say we want to animate the, let's do one more thing with the text animation. Let's say we want it to spin around the bullet. So you see we have this angle here. So we can kind of spin it around like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the frame where the text slides in, that's with the, uh, this back arrow. You see that's where our keyframe is for the text's final position. We're gonna keyframe the angle. Let's set it at zero, put a keyframe on it. Now we're gonna go back to, click this arrow here to go back to the first frame of the animation. And let's change the angle to like 360 or minus 360, it's fine. And you'll see the text is gonna spin around when it comes in. And let's say, well, let's reset the, uh, the center position and take the keyframe off that so the text isn't sliding anymore, it's just gonna be spinning. This is an example of some of the different animations that you can do with using keyframing and the different options. So let's reset the timer, we're just gonna set these all to zero. Okay, so one of the things you'll notice is if this does render a little bit slow, it can be a little bit choppy, and that's where we can use the render in place. So to do that, we just right click on this and choose render in place. And that'll take this um, bullet animation and render it out so that it runs a lot smoother for you. So let's create a really quick animated bullet and I'll show you how you can use a fusion, fusion animation for your bullets. Let's take a fusion composition and drag it into the timeline. We'll stretch it out and get into fusion. We'll click the uh, fusion option down there. We're gonna add a background node and we're gonna set it to be transparent. Then we're gonna add another background node and we're just gonna choose a color for this one. Let's. Uh, We'll choose a yellow, that's fine for now. With the background selected, click the ellipse mask. We'll take the output of the background, the yellow background, and merge it on top of the transparent background. And there's our yellow circle. We're gonna uncheck solid and bump up the border width and pull the length down. So there we go, we got a little, a little circle and we're just gonna animate this and spin it around. Um, just, a, just a real quick example. Right after the background, we're gonna add a transform node and go to the first frame. We're gonna keyframe the angle and let's go over about 100 frames and set the angle to 360. So it's gonna be spinning around through those first 100 frames. Now we want it to keep spinning after those 100 frames, so all we need to do is go to the spline editor, click the angle, and then you can hit this option right here to see both of those keyframes. And we want these keyframes to continue. So all we need to do is highlight both of them and then hit this option right down here called set relative. And once we do that, you'll see that the the animation just keeps continuing and the angle is going to keep changing throughout the animation. No, so we can change so we can change the length of the animation and it will keep spinning.
The next thing I did, at least in my sample, was I adjusted the color. So right after the transform, we're gonna hit this option right here to add a color corrector. And this is gonna allow us to adjust the hue. You see the hue changes right there. And all we did on this one, we kind of did the same thing. We're gonna keyframe the hue. Let's go to the first frame. We'll keyframe the hue. And we'll go over the uh, 150 frames, doesn't really matter. And we're gonna slide the hue over back to one. So that as this animation goes, you'll see that the color is going to be changing. And we're going to do the same thing because we want the color to keep changing throughout the animation. So we're going to go, go back to the spline editor, hit the option to see the keyframes. We're going to select both of these and say and click the set relative option. So that means the color will keep changing throughout the animation. All right, so that's just a really basic fusion animation of a spinning half circle changing color thing. To turn this into a bullet list, we go to the effects area, William Justice, and drag just bullet list on it. And there we go. So we have these uh, spinning animations and the color changes because, so what's really going on is there's a delay between which we, when each of these come in, and that causes the color to change on each of them because the timing is slightly off between each of them. And this one goes a little bit slower coming in. Um, the fusion animation is not quite as fast as a graphic. Um, but it'll still work for you. Now, I may, I may redo some of this to kind of get it a little more optimized, but right now, there's no outro animations going out. So what you can do is you can, you can either make it uh, slide off the screen or you can use the option at the end of the clip to just fade it out. Okay, there's another, I, I added one more thing in the titles area. You go to William Justice, there's a just text list. This works exactly the same way, but it doesn't have a bullet on it. Um, it's just if you want to have some text, and um, you can do a lot of the same options here, pretty much everything except for the, uh, the bullet. We can adjust the, uh, the line spacing and fonts, font sizes and all sorts of stuff. Okay, so to download and install it, you just need to go to my website, buildjustice.com. And also the, uh, there's gonna be a link in, this, in the um, description of this video as well. And click download effects right here. To download and install, just click the download DRFX link. It's gonna take you to this download. This will allow you to get the, uh, the plugin. And once you download it, um, all you need to do is double click on the DRFX file and that will um, install it into Resolve and then you can start using it. The plugin is completely free. Um, you can use it however you want. I'd love for you to make something great with it. But if you do want to support the channel and feel like chipping in, um, you can donate just a little bit right here when you download it. Thanks so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel and I like hearing your comments. If you do use the bullet list in a project, um, let me know. I'd be interested to see how it works for you. Thanks for watching.